Hey, welcome back to the Blitz. Okay, we had a game uh, out in Tulosa Midway tonight that had some pretty interesting storylines because Port Lavaca <laughs> came in with kind of a unique situation from last week. Yeah, if you don't remember from last week, Port Lavaca got the win over Alice, but then yep. due to a player playing that should not have been playing from the previous week, yep. they had to forfeit that game. So Alice remains undefeated, the mustaches stay, and Port Lavaca gets a loss, and that's huge for the district standings because yeah. Port Lavaca looks like a team that will be one of the top four yeah, yeah. out of that district. More than likely, but it also gave Alice that key win. But also Tolosa Midway got its district exactly. win first time in, I think, several years. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, congrats to Wade Miller's team. They got it done against Southside last week. Okay, so interesting game tonight. Warriors and Sand Crabs. Let's get to that video. Warrior Stadium and J.D. Garcia. Watch hitting Josh Alvarado and you think man, that is, a, is an amazing touchdown over the shoulder. That's going to be the best touchdown we see tonight. Port Lavaca's lead at 16-12, right? Not so fast. Watch TM again. They get the two-point conversion. Brendan Bayham getting in, but Garcia, watch this time, hits Noah Barrientes, and Barrientes breaking some tackles, some juke oh. moves. Get off! Oh. He gone down the sidelines. Play of the week nominee, who knows? <laughs> Maybe even a play of the year nominee by the time it's all said and done. TN takes the lead, 2016. They were fired up. Coach Wade Miller telling them to go for two. They didn't get it. Now, I will preface this that this was a lot of TM highlights. They had good highlights while we were there. They did not have good highlights when we were not there. Port Lavaca puts up a ton of points in the second half. Let's take a look at the final 65 34. But hey, still a good showing early from TM. All right, let's head out to GP. GP tied with four other teams for in for third place in the district. They're one and one. Tonight, an opportunity to grab a hold of one of those top spots. First drive, Joe Saucedo with a grown man run. Just chugging along, gets the Wildcats into the five, but the drive would stall out. So after a flag in this one, GP settling for a field goal. Nathan Bowden with the boot to put the Wildcats up three. Coach Rhodes, of course, wishing that drive would have ended in six instead of three. Second quarter, Wildcats finding the colored turf this time. Break out the meatballs. It's the sauce boss. Joe Saucedo over 50 yards to the place where people live. That's the house. GP takes a 10-0 lead, and the Wildcats go on to win in this one. 31-21. Wound up being a pretty close game, but a nice win for Coach Rhodes' squad. Good win for GP, and hey, we had a bonus game as well. Bonus game, here you go. Late fourth quarter, this one was bonkers. Odom up 3-0. Hebronville's Jonathan Gonzalez strips it, and he's gonna take it the other way. This kid has got some speed. Wow. I've seen him in preseason. He, Coach told me to look out for him because he can do stuff like that. Hebronville takes a 7-3 lead in the fourth quarter, ensuing Al's drive, looking to respond, but the home team, they're coming up with a big stop. Horns can't, but the Horns wouldn't be able to do anything with their possession, so just over two minutes to go, Al's with the ball again on Hebronville's side of the field. Orlando Gonzalez, the senior wow. captain, finds the end zone, 9-7 Al's after a missed PAT. So they take the lead there, and that was the last score in this ball wow. game. Odom wins 9-7. Crazy game out in Halberd. What are the odds that the only two touchdowns of the game <laughs> would come in the fourth quarter? They both would be yep. incredible scores, and Odom preserves its lead wow. atop the district. Crazy, and that's obviously a big district matchup for those yep. two. Um, Go figure. Three nothing. You're sitting there thinking we're not going to see anything great, and then two yeah. crazy plays happen. Two play of the week nominees. And I mean, a year. heartbreaking loss at home for yeah. Hebronville. You know, they yeah. had that amazing play, I think, by Galvan, and then, uh, you know, just couldn't hold it there at the end. Couldn't hold it. I mean, crazy, bonkers. But you know, that's right probably going to be one of the better games we've seen, yeah. especially one of the better quarters we've seen. Uh, by the time it's all said and done at the end of the season. Okay, well, you just can't wait for your scores in the next segment. You can find them online, right? right? You can find us on our website, KTRIPLITV. We've got a story with scores. And also, hey, we're streaming on our website right now, so you can watch us on TV or our website. Also, go over to Facebook, everybody. Give us a like on our 3 Sports Blitz account. And make sure you hit us with that follow on Twitter. It's KTRIPLI3Sports. We'll be right back after this break.